Morning, OYM beers. I'm up, I'm on it, like the proverbial car bonnet. Um, it's just after 6 a.m. Saturday morning. This period of time did not exist in my life until very recently for one simple reason. I stopped drinking. I quit the booze. Now, it doesn't have to be forever. It doesn't have to be a permanent thing. For me, I just decided I'm going to take a break and see what happens. And the reason I did is because I suspected the booze was holding me back. I thought it was preventing me being my best in many ways. But the thoughts of stopping or taking a break was so overwhelming. It's, you know, it was how I built my business. It's how I socialized, how I commiserated, how I celebrated. It's pretty much how I did everything, how I de-stressed, how I had a laugh. And I think we all find ourselves in a very similar position to this. And it wasn't until I took this little break that actually I realized what it was like not to feel a bit tired, a bit jaded, a bit grumpy, a bit hungover, just not quite right, just not quite motivated, not fully on the ball, not totally with it. And once I got that break, everything started to change. And that is really the inspiration behind this whole movement. For me personally, I made a big statement that I was going to give up drink and take a break from a while and of course you know I was that guy I was the first in last out the by bar type of guy you know the larger than life always a drink in hand always up for a laugh type of person and then suddenly you switch that off and it's huge and people couldn't get their heads around this and, and of course the knee joke was to say you'll never do it it's never gonna happen you won't even last a month one person bet me everything he owned that I wouldn't even last a month he still owes me a lot of money but I did two weeks and then I slipped up and everyone laughed. Everyone said, we knew it, you wouldn't do it. This pissed me off. I was like, right, I'm gonna try and do it again. And it was so difficult. It was so difficult to stop, not because there was a problem. It was never a problem to be very clear about that. The social pressure is just intense to keep drinking in our society. So my rubber arm would constantly be twisted on you know, numerous occasions and I'd slip up, I'd trip up. And I got to the point, I started to doubt myself. I started to think, hold on a minute, why can't I actually give this thing up? The beer can't jump out the glass into my mouth. But it seemed to do it on so many occasions. So I just started to study science and started to study psychology and NLP and all these things. Went back to university, studied a degree and now a master's degree in positive psychology, learned about, uh, became a master practitioner of NLP, became a mindfulness-based awareness coach all on a mission to find out what was going on. And I actually discovered that I was just behaving perfectly normal for someone who's been conditioned socially and psychologically for the last 20, 30 years almost to drink alcohol. So you need a system. You need a bit of learning around this so you can get that confidence that actually what you do matters and that you might trip up and you might slip up, but actually you learn from these mistakes and come back stronger until you crack it. And anyway, my journey changed so much I got to that four week stage and I felt brilliant bloody brilliant you know my life was vibrant again I had loads of energy I had motivation I had time all the things that I knew I was missing and it wasn't until I just switched off the alcohol for a while that all this good stuff came flooding back so I kept going and over the next 90 days I didn't drink at all I lost three stone in weight it's 42 pounds my body fat went from 35 percent down to 10 percent as mentioned i went back and started to study for my degree which degree which blossomed into a master's degree did all these other things and my business was booming you know i was told as a broker in the city that's what i do as a day job your career would be over pretty much if you stopped drinking and that's complete rubbish and also my relationships at home were getting so much better with my children, my wife, because I was always on the ball, I was always up for a laugh. I had the energy and that sort of zest for life back, which was missing. You know, that almost darkness in your eyes when you're constantly a bit tired and a bit hungover and a bit jaded, that gone, that brightness was back. And I felt so good. And then I bumped into Ruri Fairbanks, who's the co-founder of One You Know Beer. And he ended up having a similar experience. We said, this is great. We've got to share this with more people. If we can encourage more people just to take a break, this is not a permanent thing. To be clear, this is a fun, stigma-free, label-free challenge. There's no pointing fingers. All we're saying is come and do 28 days of us. See if you like it. See if you do feel better. See if you get your energy back, your time back, your motivation back. See if you save a load of money. 
and if you're enjoying it and you feel great and we will show you how to socialize and still smash your social life and have a great time in fact even have a better social life we'll give you all the tips and tricks get you exercising get you looking at mindfulness get you looking at all these different well-being things to get your well-being from a six to a seven to an eight to a nine Start day seven, Jason. Good man, Jason. That's what I like. One week in the bag. And that's what this challenge is about. It's just taking a break. Most of us stop in our, start drinking our teens and we never take a break. We never remember what it's like to have that life force back, that energy back that comes from taking a break from alcohol. And this is the secret. Just before I go, this challenge is not even really about alcohol. It's about so much more than that. It's about creating the best version of you and it just so happens that alcohol is the key that unlocks that and that's why this challenge is getting so much success and it's become so powerful just last week I met a guy called Darren he started his challenge on the 2nd of January he's lost four and a half stone he didn't come to do the challenge to lose weight it just happened because he started to exercise he started to feel good again he started to eat a better diet and obviously dismiss all those extra calories from booze and the stodge hungover eating that comes with it that's just one example of thousands and thousands so anyway if you want your weekends back and you want to be up and you want to experience a bit of life in the mornings and you want your energy back for your family and your friends and you want to be an inspiration to people come and do this challenge it's that simple go to one you know beer.com and sign up for 28 days or 90 days or whatever suits Day 20 for May, look at this. And her husband's on day 100. Boom! That's what we like to see on Saturday morning. Saturday morning. Saturday morning. So have a great weekend all. Come and join us. Join in the fun. The people are getting these most amazing results from this one simple change. But it's difficult unless you know how. And we will show you how. Alright, have a cracking weekend. Over and out. Morning, Elspeth.